Welcome to today's live stream. I apologize if it's a little bit late for some of you guys who are in the USA in Eastern time. Currently, it's almost 12 o'clock at night. I am currently in Central Standard Time. That means that it's currently 940 o'clock. So I have three viewers. Hello, what's up? Say hello. Tell me where you're from. Uh, if you're watching from the States or from anywhere else around the world, let me know. Uh, again, guys, my name is Enrique, and today's presentation is going to be pretty much the same thing as I've been showing you guys in previous live sessions. <clears throat> pretty much is uh, showcasing how to start dropshipping on eBay, but at least the most important tools and the most important parts of it. So let me know in the comments on the comment section on the chat box since we are streaming from YouTube and on Facebook. So let me know, guys, if you have any questions. Uh, I'll try to make this as quickly as possible. Uh, but anyway, let me go ahead and start by showing you my screen over here, as you guys can see. Uh, before we start, though, please, if you're new to the channel, maybe consider hitting that like button if you feel that this information is going to be useful for you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have tons of good content. We're coming up with more good content, more affiliations, more contact. And just just subscribe and hit that notification bell button, guys. We really appreciate it. And comment, comment, comment. That's going to help us tons with the YouTube algorithm. Anyway, let us start with this presentation. And the, before we start, I just want you guys to know that we also have, as you guys can see here, uh, YouTube community. We have two uh, groups. We have the dropshipping community group and the dropshipping for beginners group. So you guys are there as well. And last but not least, guys, I just want to quickly show you guys, I'll be giving you the links directly to our webinars so you guys know more about product research, about eBay dropshipping, about CJ uh, dropshipping, which is a new supplier that we're working with right now, and so on and so forth. Anyway, let's just start with the presentation. The first thing I want to go ahead and quickly go over and talk to you about is online arbitrage. And we're going to be talking and discussing three major things. Uh, the first one would be, what is online arbitrage? And as you guys can read here, is the process of finding a product on the marketplace, like, for example, eBay, whatever product, like we have here, this veil right here, this wedding veil, we found this veil for a price, in this case, as you can't see it, but it's for $50 worth on eBay. And then you want to source that same item on a different website or a different marketplace, for example, AliExpress. Uh, and that same item will be at a lower cost. It would be at a cheaper price. That would be uh, the idea of finding a product with enough demand, with enough sales on eBay, and then sourcing that same item on a different website like AliExpress and find it for a lower price. And that way you can resell it uh, at a higher price on eBay to cover up your fees. So that would be pretty much what is online arbitrage. It's pretty simple, straightforward. Now, the benefits of this is, let me just go ahead and say, this is for beginners, right? So the benefits is, first off, it's simple to start. Uh, second off, you can offer different products, you know, because in this model, you don't have to buy uh, a stock or an inventory ahead of products that means that you won't have any problems in terms of you know changing up your stock changing up your inventory of what you're selling on your listings if you see that something an item that you're selling is not performing well then you can just take that out of your listings and try to look for something that will uh, that is called product research which i will show you quickly how to do it and then it's low risk or minimal risk that means that this model you don't have to invest a lot of money to start again like I said this um, you don't have to buy inventory or products ahead so you can change up your listings and that will give you a low investment capital to start with so for example the first thing you would need to have in this case to optimize your store would be a drop shipping software such as DSM tool where you can optimize your listings you can work uh, with the eBay search engine optimization by optimizing everything up and doing ongoing optimization I will be explaining that over this live stream as well you can also automate your customer support that is that would be the most or one of the most important things when it comes to administrating your online store you can choose different templates for a better user experience on your store and so many other cool features that we have by using this dropshipping software secondly you would need to have an ebay subscription i just want to quickly say guys that in order for you to start selling on ebay you don't need to have a store subscription uh, however uh, when you start 
selling on eBay as you know when you begin an account a seller account on eBay without paying the monthly subscription you're only allowed to list 10 items uh, worth of five hundred dollars that would be uh, that would be your limit so in this case when it comes to limit I mean obviously you don't want to start with a, you know only 10 items if you want to in order for you to start you know making more sales obviously and start listing more items then we would recommend you to always go for at least an eBay subscription a basic eBay subscription where you're allowed to list up to 200 in search uh, um, products sorry without any insertion fees this means that if you run out out of, out of your listing I'm not sorry you're out of your li uh, limits anything you want to add uh, besides that would be charged as a fee so that would be an insertion fee but I, I cover that on a different video I will link it on the description and on the chat box later on then product research software is optional good news is that we are very close on and incorporating to our DSM tool software great product research method so you guys would have the dropshipping software and the product research software within one so that's going to be very optimal for you guys but again you don't you don't need to have a product research software I'm gonna show you how you can start looking for good products without that uh, then for your eBay fees and PayPal fees Guys, let me just say that when it comes to eBay fees, you are most likely, not most likely, you are normally charged a final value fee uh, every single month for the majority of products you might want to sell or you might sell. Uh, in Amazon, for example, it's 15% and eBay is 10%, so it's lower, it's better uh, because it's lower fee. Uh, your PayPal fees would be 2.9% uh, if you're drop shipping on to the USA. Uh, plus a fixed price fee of 30 cents. If you're drop shipping elsewhere, let's say internationally, then that would be 4.9% uh, plus the 30 cents that that never changes. And last but not least, if you want to learn more about uh, how to start drop shipping, how to set up your store, your account, your eBay account, your DSM account, everything you need to know from A to C, you have a beginner's course that we're selling uh, or we're about to sell on our software and DSM tool. So guys, let me start giving you some links so you have that there. The first off, I wanna share you guys this link. This is a product research webinar that I did a couple of months ago. I want to go ahead and give this to you so you can learn more about it. Even though I'm gonna go quickly, I'm gonna quickly go over uh, the essentials of how to product research if you want to really learn more about it, head over to this webinar as well. Uh, let me go ahead and give you more uh, links. For example, uh, this we have a Dropship Academy. We have tons and tons of useful articles. As you can see here, guys, uh, we have different multiple articles for dropshipping and e-commerce as a whole, so you guys can read that. And we also have this how to start dropshipping on eBay from AliExpress, a complete guide. You can read it. We have tons of information there, so go ahead and get going there. Okay, guys, let me start. Let me just continue with my presentation. Those are the benefits of online arbitrage. Simple to start, low investment, minimal risk because of it, and you can offer different products. Now, moreover, let me just quickly say that there's another side that a lot of you guys might be thinking of, a lot of you guys are concerned about is, is it legal? Can you drop ship on eBay? A lot of people are complaining that once they begun drop shipping, uh, their accounts got closed. Uh, and it's a shame, but let me just go ahead and quickly say what happened. So first off, the eBay policy is this one. When you start, eBay allows you to drop ship, but it doesn't allow you to drop ship from other retailers or marketplaces or websites, right? For example, AliExpress, Facebook, Amazon, you can't do that. What you can do is you can buy inventory from a third party company, for example, and you can start selling, or if you manufacture your own products, then obviously you can start selling. If you do that, then you will be complying with the eBay policy. But if you're sourcing products from another website, then you are not compliant. So what happens is you're gonna re uh, receive this um, email from eBay telling you guys that the selling practices policies uh, are not being followed by you as a seller. Well, let me just explain what happened. So mainly what happens is, yes, you will get flagged. Your account will get flagged. That will happen. Uh, and what happens after you get flagged is first off, you are not allowed or you can't uh, be a top rated seller 
a top rated seller is a status, a luxurious status among um, eBay sellers. Normally that status is granted to, uh, to people who hold inventory, sellers who hold inventory, and they have a high rotation inventory, meaning that they could, they perform awesome in terms of sales and not to mention every single metric that eBay uh, takes into account, such as customer support, customer service, how active you are on eBay, and so on and so forth. Uh, so what would that mean is that you you might lose, not might, sorry, you will lose some visibility, uh, meaning you're gonna get less traffic because top-rated sellers tend to get a little bit more traffic from eBay. Not mean, however, that you will not be able to uh, make sales if you approach this uh, model, or you're. Not also have an article for you guys. I'll be sharing you. Uh, I'll, I'll be sharing this article later on this stream, and we are working on a webinar explaining in detail how the eBay search engine optimization works. And again, second, the thing, the, the other, the other thing that you might lose visibility on is a feature called promoted listing. So I will, I'm, I'm finishing a video on this topic, promoted listing. So you guys, I won't get, I won't dive into this subject, but I just want to quickly say that if you're a drop shipper, you can still go ahead and, uh, you can still go ahead pretty much and um, use this feature right here. So, uh, hold on. So as I explained, online arbitrage is simple. However, you're not complying with the eBay policy, but you can still work around it. You can still make some gains in terms of uh, money, in terms of sales, in terms of traffic. Okay. Now, now that I explained quickly what is online arbitrage, and you can learn more about it on the webinar that we did on, you know, eBay, how to start eBay dropshipping. Let me quickly jump over to product research. On product research, we have different methods. Uh, the first method I want to cover quickly is sniping method. Second one would be niche research or market niche research, and the third method uh, method would be a wholesale supplier. Now, uh, I just want to go ahead and say that when it comes to wholesale suppliers. That method, you will be complying with the eBay dropshipping policy. But before I get into that subject, uh, let me start by going to the sniping technique. <clears throat> so the sniping technique consists in three simple steps. Step number one, find other dropshippers. You want to find other sellers who are doing the exact same thing as you are. You want to compete against those sellers. Uh, and if you start finding this uh, dropshippers on eBay, you'll be able to, det uh, to determine that even though they're um, they're using the online arbitrage model, which is not complying with the eBay policy, they still manage to make sales and still manage to get to gain a lot of uh, profits out of every sale. Uh, so if they can do it, why can't you, right? So I'm gonna show you. In, uh, this is a theory. I'm gonna show you in practice how to do this quickly. Uh, but that is the first step: find other drop shippers. Within finding other drop shippers, I just want to quickly say that by experience, you can find them on uh, seller's location. For example, you can find them in countries such as um, Israel, Greece, Morocco, UK, it, even the USA. But if they have their items location set up on China, meaning that they're drop shipping or sourcing products from China, such as you will be doing if you approach this online arbitrage model because the same because we're going to be sourcing products from AliExpress, meaning sourcing products from China. Okay, second step would be once you found your dropshipper, analyze his or her store, and by analyzing their store, try to find and snipe, take and find the best selling items or the best selling products that you can optimize on your own terms. Put your own price. Be competitive. If if uh, if your competition is selling for twenty bucks, sell for a cheaper price. Nineteen ninety nine, nineteen twenty doesn't matter. Just sell uh, sell cheaper to be competitive in terms of pricing and try to gain more traffic and possibly more sales. And yeah, pretty much those are three simple steps. I will show you how to do them in just a second. But before we do that, let me go ahead and go over to the market niche research. In this case, we use. A tool called Terapeak. Terapeak is a marketing tool that is provided by eBay. And this tool analyzes the platform's market in terms of what is trending, right? And uh, so, for example, gives you detailed insights on what to sell, 
how to sell that and when to sell. Um, uh, I'll show you how you can get access to this awesome tool and how to quickly read and analyze um, trending niches and find products. I will not dive into it. You can you can check that out on my webinar on product research, which I already uh, I already posted on the chat box a link directly to that webinar. And last but not least, wholesale supplier. Uh, there are tons of suppliers, but I will focus on CJ Dropshipping. And as you guys can read, CJ Dropshipping is a platform which integrates product sourcing, order processing, and shipping fulfillment. And not only that, one of the greatest things or benefits that drop uh, CJ Dropshipping has as a platform is that you can perform regular online arbitrage dropshipping. Or you can even do the wholesale dropshipping, which you will be complying as well with the eBay dropshipping policy. Another thing is, even though you do the dropshipping approach or the online arbitrage approach, by using CJ Dropshipping as your third party or intermediary uh, company, you will be complying with, uh, with the eBay dropshipping policy because you're not sourcing from a different uh, marketplace or website. You're using CJ Dropshipping, which is completely different. Uh, so those are the good benefits of CJ Dropshipping. There's even more, and a video is coming up this week where I do an I did an interview with uh, one of the CJ uh, CJ's team member. Her name is Demi, and she's gonna explain wonderfully how this works. So let me uh, go ahead and show you guys what how you can do the product research. And then we're gonna list uh, quickly an item using DSM tool. So to do this, let me start by saying, always try to use two great extensions. The first one would be Alley Tools, as you guys can see here. And uh, let me share this with you right now. There you go. So Alley Tools is a price tracker extension for AliExpress. You can price track uh, every single change on in you know prices on items on aliexpress uh you can also analyze images and that is one of the awesome features uh that i love about this extension and also you can uh, quickly analyze on aliexpress with this tool uh how that supplier or seller uh has their metrics so uh, when i when i get to that point i will show you how to quickly analyze the supplier on aliexpress so get this install it it's free so you don't have to worry about paying anything as well as the ebay popularity sort as you guys can see here so this ebay popularity sort extension will allow you to sort item items on um, ebay from the most popular products to the least popular products and when it comes to analyzing uh, a drop shipper store uh, one of the quickest ways to determine which products are doing the best uh, in terms of sales performance on that seller store is by having this extension which it would automatically sort uh, items from the most sold items to the least ones and obviously it's going to take you is it's, it, it will be time consuming it's going to save you so much time when it comes to finding good items from that seller okay so to start doing this process head over to aliexpress now the first step would be finding other drop shippers in this case guys you don't uh, over here you don't care about which product you choose over here in this part just choose a random item doesn't matter from which category you choose it from and i'll show you what to do afterwards so what a, a quick tip i always like to give guys is that even though you're choosing um, a random item over here in this marketplace always try to choose categories which uh, that are being sold year round that have a high demand year round that will give you not only that will give you good products right but also uh, in terms of finding other drop shippers if some products are doing well on this uh, site on aliexpress most likely they're being drop shipped onto ebay so one of the best categories i always choose when it comes to sniping items is the home and improvement tools because uh year round especially in the states People are always uh, trying to improve their homes, uh, buying some tools, and so on and so forth. So, oh, I have it in Spanish. Sorry, guys. Let me change it to English uh, over here. Okay. Let's see. Okay. 
There you go. By the way, guys, comment, comment, comment. If you have any questions, at least say hello. It's going to help us tons in the, with the YouTube algorithm. Uh, so just comment, and it's the best thing you can do besides subscribing, of course. Uh, okay, so home and improvement and tools. Uh, over here, choose whichever product or subcategory. doesn't even matter. At this point, guys, I'll just show you the process. I might not find a very good item to sell, maybe, uh, because it's, it might take some time. But the most important thing right now for me is to show you the process. And towards the end of this stream, I will give you great products that I already found using this technique. Okay, so once you are here and you choose whichever sub item or sub category from your from the category always sort by orders obviously because you want to find the most ordered item or the most popular items within um, aliexpress because again if you're looking for a drop shipper most likely that same product is being drop shipped onto ebay um I have a question here. Hi, DSM Chrome extension address auto pays is still not working. Okay. Wait, hold on. Thank you. So, okay. There you go. Let me see. There you go. Okay. So, thank you so much for telling me that Delta 9. Uh, we're working on it. So, uh, can you please send an email directly or message directly to our customer support team? Because we are on top of that. We have some glitches uh, that we're fixing currently, uh, but it's going to be fixed very, very soon, but anything regarding problems with a DSM tool account, please uh, let the customer support team know within a chat inside the uh, platform because I am in a different area, but obviously, uh, thank you so much for letting me know. Okay, so now that you 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 know chose a category, subcategory, and you put the order here to sort items, choose whichever random item you want, uh, in this case, I'll be choosing this one right here. So once you are here, now head over to eBay. And on eBay, what you want to do is head over to Advanced Search, right? So on Advanced Search, you just want to fill three simple uh, things. Number one is keywords. Enter keywords. That would be the title or the full title of the item on AliExpress. Control C to copy, and then Control V to paste. Then head over to location because you want to find I you want to find drop shippers who are sourcing from China, meaning that they're doing the same exact thing as you will be doing or you are doing currently. So you want to stick to that. So location, you want to set the location here to China. You want to find a drop shipper who is doing the same thing, sourcing items from China. I can't stress this enough. So location, China, and obviously market over here. And last but not least, price. Okay, so there's a thing called the 30% markup that every drop shipper has to take into account. What does this mean? Okay, remember guys when I explained before, uh, let me just go ahead and, uh, okay. Remember guys I explained before the eBay fees and the PayPal fees, the 10% eBay fees, and then the 2.9% if you're drop shipping in the USA. Uh, plus 30 cent uh, PayPal fee. So when you're drop shipping, you need to take into consideration those fees, eBay fees and PayPal fees. Moreover, when you're drop shipping from, let's say, AliExpress, you want to cover within your price, you want to cover the product's cost on AliExpress. And if there's any shipping uh, price or uh, shipping fee uh, on AliExpress by that supplier that you choose. So you need to cover your eBay, PayPal fees, price of the product on Al on aliexpress and uh, you want to cover also the shipping price so this means that above that once you cover that that would be a rule of thumb 30 percent anything above in terms of price would be some would be the profits that you'll gain so for example if i'm if i'm looking to sell let's say um this um glass case uh, this glasses case over here and i found i find this product on aliexpress for ten dollars right and my ebay fees plus the paypal fees uh med, let's say they're three dollars in total so we have ten dollars the price of this item on aliexpress plus the three dollars of ebay fees and paypal fees thirteen dollars and there's let's say a shipping fee of mm, i don't know five bucks so i need to add that up to five dollars more that means 18 bucks 
So if I sell this item for, for let's say, $20, right? And somebody purchases this item from me with $18, I'm covering my fees, the cost of this product, and the shipping fee. And the resting two bucks will be mine to take. So you, what you need to find is find that 30% minimum price. So what you do is the following. So head over. Let me go ahead and share again. Okay, so head over back to AliExpress. Get your calculator up. Um, let me uh, share this with you. There you go. Okay, uh, so we have this item. We want to ship this ships from China. Okay, free shipping. There is no cost on shipping for this item over here. Uh, this product is for between, depending on which variation you choose, as uh, from 18 bucks all the way to 25 bucks so let's choose the highest price here just to be on the safe side so 25 dollars right 25 dollars 0.56 if there would be a shipping fee right here which in this case there isn't we would be adding that to this uh to this number so since there isn't any shipping fee then now what we do is we multiply it by 1.3 for that 30% markup and the minimum price that we should be looking for and somebody should be selling this item, a dropshipper should be selling this item on eBay to cover everything up should be $33.22. So you want to put that number here, 33.22. 20, 33.22. So grab the full title set the location on china and find 30 percent minimum price with 30 percent markup and once you've done that hit search now you'll be able to find pretty much the same item being sold on ebay a uh, quick tip also when you find this as you guys can read here if you see top rated seller that it's not a drop shipper again a Twenty eight feedbacks, right? The reason behind not having an uh, is because a lot of feedbacks are for sellers who normally perform great in terms of sales, have a high rotation inventory, and they're normal sellers. They're not drop shippers. So always aim for sellers who have less than thousand feedbacks, and that would, that's a good indicator. So again, not top rated sellers, less than five thousand feedbacks. And as you guys can see, it is the pretty, it's the same, pretty same image uh, over here as is over here. So you know what? This might be a drop shipper. Let's click on the item. It's gonna take us to the products page. Uh, once you've determined that, you can also determine a few things. Obviously, you set this up uh, on your advanced search. You filter this up, but just to be on the safe side, always make sure that the item's location, that the product is being sourced from China. So you can find that information here on shipping and you can also find that same information when you scroll down on shipping and payments and as you guys can see items location is china okay so let's determine if this is a drop shipper another thing i would love to always give a, an advice is like i said before is normally drop shippers are from countries in europe for example uh, so let's click on here and seller's information this is the seller store and uh, we click on it and you can see the seller's location over here so this guy is or this girl is from sri lanka so yeah most likely it would be a drop shipper uh normally i would stay away from people from asia meaning that they they're most likely uh, a lot of people from china or asia are just regular sellers who hold inventory either in china or in the usa they have some warehouses but in this case this person has less than five thousand feedbacks uh this person is selling the same exact thing for the same for the minimum price that we found on the 30 percent markup it is from sri lanka so most likely this is a drop shipper so 
Okay, so then we have a negative feedback, see? Huh. Anyway, you're gonna find, it, it takes some time to find a good seller. It always takes some time. It's, that's product research, guys. You need to take your time. Sometimes you might find good sellers and great products quickly. Sometimes it might take some time. Uh, it's gonna take longer, but again, I'm not focusing on finding a good seller. I'm not even focusing on finding a profitable product. I just want to show you guys how to do this process because I'll be giving you guys good products that I already looked and sourced. Anyway, once you are on this page, it's time for you to go step number two that would be analyzing this seller's store. Head over to items for sale. Using the eBay popularity sort, this will be automatically sorted by, see, by the most sold product to the least sold product. So, uh, Let's say you want to see how many sales this product has made. Now, a quick tip, always look for items that have generated at least three sales to four sales in the past, in the past 30 days. You want to find products that have uh, enough demand, they're being um, bought uh, currently, and that will give you some sort of or some sense of, uh, let's say, um, uh, how do you say this? Uh, of reassurance that you are going to be drop shipping a product that people are wanting to buy so always look for the demand three uh, products to four products minimum in the last 30 days so click on this and you can see that information or you will be able to see that information how many sales this product has made over here uh, I see that this pro this uh, product has not made any sales at all apparently uh, so let's try to find a different product Again, if I don't find a product, I'll, this is all about the process, but let's try to find a better example. Let's see this one. Okay, no, no good. Okay, let's try to see this one. This would be my last product. I'll, okay, no sales. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So the point is, once you found a product with enough sales, you'll be able to see that information here. Uh, you'll be able to see the total sales made for this product if you click on the link. Uh, and I'll be showing you an example of it afterwards. You'll be able to see the transaction uh, table and there's a lot of cool features you can do. So let's say that this product's being sold, let's say, was sold for 10 times in the past month. So it's a good item. Let's, say, let's just pretend this is a good item. What you do is the following, having Ali tools installed, if you go and scroll over the image, as you guys can see here, you can see a magnifying glass on the left top corner of the image. If you click on it, you can see find an AliExpress. Click on that button, and what it does is sends the image, analyzes the image, and it gives you all of the sellers from AliExpress who are selling the same product for different prices, or something very similar. You can sort by cheap first, you can sort by popular first. When you sort by cheap first, sometimes you find products that are not even remotely the same. Sometimes you find products that they're... Uh, so this ones over here would not be, would not count. So and my point here is you have this cool tool and you can analyze different sellers that offer the same product for, with a different price. Always try to shoot for a price that is below a cheaper price than what you can what you find here on eBay. Uh, this seller is selling this almost for fifty bucks. So you so try to find a product that is sold for way less than fifty dollars. Uh, once you've already determined the price, also take a look in the amount of orders. So you've won. So this is correlated with the reliability of the supplier on AliExpress. And so if you see a supplier that has more than 10 orders made, that means that the more orders that person has made, the more reviews that person has, the more reviews that person has, the more able you will be to determine if that it would be a reliable source or not. Remember, online arbitrage, when you're sourcing from a different website, you you will not be able to see the product physically right? And you're relying on a different seller, on this case in AliExpress. So you need to provide your customers the, a good product with a high quality, and you need to always provide also a good shipping method, and that is all determined by the uh, supplier or the seller that you choose. So always be, always try to analyze each and every single option. So for example, let me give you an example. Let's start with this one right here. So once you click on the option, it's gonna take you all the way to the products page on AliExpress. In here, you'll be able to find uh, 
you'll be able to read the product's description, see the price, but not only that, let's try to focus first on analyzing this supplier and if it's good. So the first thing I always wanna do is product quality reassurance. Again, since you will, you will not be able to physically see the product and physically determine if that is a good quality item, the way you do that is, first off, this person has over 700 orders, right? And over 200 reviews, which you can read and review. And an overall star review of the product of a 4.8 star rating, meaning that 88% of people determined that this is a great item, a five-star product. So this are three simple um, metrics that you can read and determine if this is a good product or not. So always shoot for items that have more than 4.5 star rating to determine the quality of it. At least, at least 10 reviews from the seller and at least 10 orders or more. So this person has over 700, over 200 reviews and 4.8 star rating. The product is great. Now let's determine if this seller is good. So if you guys can see here where it says top brand, which is a good indicator, you can see that this person has a 98.2% positive feedback rate. Moreover, you can see the detailed seller ratings. So items as described, that means that the person that is ordering, ordering the product from this seller is getting the same item that was described or is described on this page. Well, that's good. You always want to provide a product that is the same thing that you're offering on your page. And this has, this seller has 4.8, so it's above average, very good. Communication, this would be the communication between the seller and the uh, customer. It is solid, it's 4.8, very good. And last but not least, shipping speed. How good are the shipping methods offered by this seller? Is above average, so it's great. Overall, this seller is a great, reliable supplier. Moreover, by having Alley Tools, you can see here that this, uh, the Alley Tools kind of already gives another rating on the or another ranking on the seller so you guys can see here this person has 92 percent seller ranking you can read it over here and it gives you the, the like the key points of why this seller is good or bad so always shoot for something a, a, let's say above 80 percent uh in terms of determining the reliability of that seller so overall this and one last thing determining your the business policies when it comes to eBay, you want to always set up your payment policies, your return policies, and your shipping policies, right? Those are like the three major things. So always make sure that the, that the supplier or seller that you choose while using this model at least offers one or two things, uh, either a free return policy or a free return within 15 days uh, to reassure the customer or the buyer or the 90 day buyer protection that eBay always, that eBay offers and eBay wants you as a seller to have. Uh, so you can reassure your buyer as well. That is like a reassurance for a user that if that person does not get what he wanted or she wanted, or it gets, it gets the item at a later time lapse that you promised on the shipping method or it, the product arrives damaged, that person wants to know if he or she can get full reimbursement, money back, or even return the item. But anyway, that's a different topic. But yes, so this is a good, good supplier. Now, let me show you something that I will be giving you guys that is a calculator that we developed that is this one right here. So over here, you'll be able to eat with your break even that the rule of thumb, normally the break even that is cover your fees, right? Uh, would be between 14 to 15 percent uh, we already set that up here for you and then we'll and uh, the paypal fee would be a 30 cent fixed price fee and we already have everything for you guys we already have the formula set up you don't need to do anything but fill the information here here so what what this does essentially is by filling the information here you'll be able to determine how much profits you will be able to gain out of every single sell if you want to sell that item. So this is very important because you want to, not only you want to analyze the supplier and the product, you also want to analyze 
how much money you'll get out of every single sell. That is like the end, of the, that is your purpose of being a seller, right? You wanna gain profits. Anyway, what you do is you put on the eBay price. This would be the seller's price on eBay, right? To determine how much money this seller is getting out of the deal. So this seller is selling this item for $48.50. So we put 48.50 here. Then when it comes to cost and shipping, this would be the information that you find on AliExpress on the same item. Uh, hold on, that this is not the item. This is the item, there you go. Okay, so this item is being sold between $27.52 to $33.63. Uh, let's try to determine, hold on, let's see, we have different variations. Uh, ships from China. So we have this one, 32. Let's see if we can find the same variation. Always try to check on the variations. It's very important. So for example, over here, uh, you have different variations of the same product. And over here, you have also different variations. So try to find the same one to determine the price of it. So uh, let's see if we can find it. So we have 36.29. Then we have 36.29. So this exact variation here, this one right here, this one, that is worth 33 bucks and 63 cents is the same variation offered here not but over here the seller is offering it for 52 bucks and 90 cents okay so this is your real price so you put 52.90 let's put 52.90 then you put the cost over here that's 33.63 so we put 33.63 and shipping would be free with standard shipping, so good. Oh, by the way, guys, uh, I just wanna quickly say that when it comes to shipping methods, always use either AliExpress standard shipping, as you guys can see here, or ePacket, because they're reliable, they're somewhat fast, they offer a tracking number, tracking information, which is if you up upload a validated tracking number onto your eBay account, then that is great for your metrics, and last but not least, they're either very cheap or free. So always use one of those two as a beginner. So you apply it and we go over here back and we don't put anything because there's nothing. So this seller, if this person, let's say, makes sales on this item and is sourcing from the same exact supplier, this person would be getting a total profit of 11 bucks and 30 cents, right? So let's say that this is a good item, is a great reliable supplier, uh, would be a profitable supplier as well because you're gaining 11 bucks or you might gain 11 bucks out of every single sale. So if your competitor is selling this for $52.90 on eBay and you want to sell the same exact thing, you optimize it accordingly and you're going to be selling this for a cheaper price to be competitive. So let's say we want to sell this for 50 bucks. You'll still manage to gain 8 bucks and 82 cents out of every single sale if you sell this item. So this is a cool way to determine uh, how much profit you'll gain. Moreover, this calculator also gives you the chance to put every single item. This this are all the list of links that I've, uh, all the products that I've found for all the live sessions. So I always save them over here. Also, you can save competitors you want to follow. Uh, you, can, you can do a lot of cool things. And I'll be giving you that copy right here. Once I give you uh, the products, this is going to be given on the final part of the stream. We're, don't worry, we're gonna be, we're almost finished. So this is the sniping technique, this is what you do. Now let's head over to Market East Research. I'm not getting, again, I'm not diving into the subject. I'm just going to be explaining quickly what to do. So for example, uh, let's head over to your seller hub. So once you start, an account, a seller's account on eBay, you have this awesome dashboard called Seller Hub, where you can uh, be on top of your sales, your tasks, your orders, traffic, and metrics overall, right? So over here, if you click on the research tab, there's a thing called Therapy Product Research. Click on it, and you'll be directed to this page. <clears throat> oh, right, I need to, re I need to renovate, uh, I need to renovate my, <laughs> my, um, but you have to pay something. You have to pay a fee, a small amount. Uh, I think it's like 19 bucks or 12 bucks per month, and you will be able to have that tool. Anyway, it doesn't matter because on over here, let me show you here on this webinar, I quickly show you guys how to um, use this Therapeak tool over here. 
And as you guys can see here, these are pretty much the metrics that you want to follow. So yeah, you can see the metrics over here, the trend line over here, and in terms of the niche, how good that trending is has been doing, if there's some growth or decline. Uh, also, you can determine uh, how much market share you'll have uh, on that trending niche, let's say NBA products, right? So you want to determine uh, how much uh, opportunity you'll have or how difficult it would be for you as a newbie seller to enter that trending niche you can also see here that this, uh, that depending over here, total sales would be the market size. So if you want to learn more about this, this is very awesome tool, and there's a lot of useful information. So if you, want to, if you again, if you want to learn more about it, head over to this webinar that I did, where I specifically show you guys how to read and uh, how to analyze everything. Up. Anyway, last but not least. Uh, I will. I want to share with you guys this also. This another. This another webinar I did on CJ dropshipping. So CJ dropshipping. I show you guys how to source products, uh, how to source items from CJ uh, using this tool. This is very good. As you guys can see here, you can. What you do is you source an item, right? You put on the information. You put the image. You put everything down. You put the link. Uh, from the place that you want to let's say let's say I want to source this same item so I put this link over here and the product's name and what you do is you want to source the same item so the CJ team it takes between let's say two business days or three business days they go over to their suppliers in China they find the manufacturer that offers that same product negotiate a price and come back to you with a lower price and, and give you further information and you decide if you want to take it or not again i don't want to dive into this subject because i'm almost 50 minutes in again go to the link you'll be able to see everything you need to see on cj drop shipping and i will be uploading more information on cj drop shipping as well okay and last but not least let me show you how to quickly list an item so let's say you want to use this product uh, Delta 9, I don't know if you're still watching, um, we apologize for the Chrome extension, but again, the Chrome extension from DSM tool, uh, which is this page over here, if you don't have it, go get it. Let me share this with you guys right here. Uh, we have different plans. You can see our plans over here. We, we tell you what we offer. We, we work with more than 50 suppliers or 50 plus websites. Uh, we work with CJ Dropshipping, we work with AliExpress, Banggood, ITC, China Brands, Walmart, Costco. Costway and so many more. So go ahead and check it out, guys. It's a great tool. So now, by having your DSM tool, let me show you that. For example, you uh, we give you once you enter and you sign up to DSM tool, we give you a small tour on what you need to do in terms of uh, you know connecting your store to DSM, uh, setting everything up properly on DSM, and so on and so forth. Uh, there's going to be videos showcased there as well, giving you further examples and further instructions. But one of the cool features that I want to show you guys is the rapid lister right here. Uh, and you can learn more about dropshipping here, for example, on this tab where it says learn dropshipping. We have different chapters. So as you guys can see, we have everything set up for you guys. So go get it. Uh, we are looking to integrate everything. We want to help you guys get the full uh, experience of selling online. Not only on eBay, but on Amazon, for example, Shopify, or anything you want to do in terms of e-commerce. Uh, by the way, this is only for the purpose of this live stream. I don't have anything connected, so that's why I don't have any uh, metrics in terms of sales statistics or anything above it. Uh, this is only for the purpose to show you guys some of the cool features, some of the features of the SM tool. So by downloading... Uh, by having this Chrome extension tool, you'll be able to find this awesome uh, button called, called Listed DSM on AliExpress. So let's say I want to list this item, just click on this button over here. It's going to quickly direct me to the Rapid Lister. Uh, again, yeah, we need to upgrade, but this is only for the purpose of showcasing what you have to do. So normally what you do is once you have your account, obviously upgraded and everything you can, what it does is it grabs the full link of AliExpress. It takes it, it puts, it puts on all the information or the majority of information of this product, meaning all the images, 
uh, some of the uh, some of the specifications of the item, uh, the uh, title, and so on and so forth. And you can work uh, up. You can work on optimizing every single point to uh, to gain more traffic. So let me quickly explain what happens, right? So what is the eBay change and optimization? So let's go to eBay, right? So there's a three steps on this part. So we have uh, impressions on the funnel, right? Top of funnel would be impressions. Middle uh, of funnel will be click through rate, and the button fun part of the funnel uh, that is that would be the last part is the sales through rate. Let me quickly go over what this means. So Project Cassini would be the algorithm on eBay. So what this does is the following. Let's say I'm a user and I'm looking to buy a cell phone, right? doesn't matter. Just put cell phones. So impressions would be the number of times that your item or your listings appear on the search results, like over here. So all these um, sellers right here, as you guys can see, are getting one impression by me. This is the impression, the amount of time that your listing appears on the search results. Number two is the click-through rate. So depending on your title, depending on the image you have, depending on your price, obviously, and a lot of things, what will drive me as a user to click on your link. So for example, between, uh, let's say, this two over here, this new one, this Samsung Galaxy S8, and we have the Samsung Galaxy Plus S8. Between these two, the cheapest one with the lowest price would be this one, right? So I like this one better because it's cheaper. That is me as a user, and there's a lot of users willing to pay less, even they have, even though they have to wait more if you're sourcing from China. So in my case, I'll always try to look for the cheapest price. So once I, once I determine which product I want to click on, I click on the link, and this is what we call click-through rate. That is the amount of clicks that your link or your product or your listing is getting. So since I clicked on this item, this seller right here, this diamond point wireless is getting a click-through rate percentage by me. And last but not least, once I see the shipping policy, how long I have to wait, uh, a lot of people, this is very important, the item specifics, this is, you have to always have enough specifications on your product, detailed information for the user, and also that eBay always follows up on that metric. So be always on top of filling this up here. So as a user, I read everything. I read the brand, the model, the style. If I'm a nerd, if I'm more of a cell phone geek, I want to, uh, you know, not only I want to find a, a phone that is pretty, but also that is going to help me in terms of, let's say I'm a video producer. I wanted to have enough uh, gigabytes, like this one has 64 gigabytes. Uh, I wanted to have enough RAM, uh, uh, like the four gigabytes maybe is not too much, but enough that 60 gigabytes would be better, but it doesn't matter. The point is I read the description here and once I agree upon, you say, you know, and I say, you know what? I like the price. I like what I see. I like the product and I like what I read. I'll buy this from it. So this is the final part, the bottom of funnel where you get the sell through rate. That would be the number of sales your listing is getting. So I put the buy it now tab. So what you do on DSM tool is you work on the title, go, find a, a winning title uh, with a long tail keywords that will generate enough clicks, enough traffic organically. Secondly, you want to always be on top of your prices. As I showed you guys, I'll put a price where you cover your fees, where you gain profits, but be always uh, sell for a cheaper price in, uh, in comparison of your competitors. Uh, then you want to work on your items description, put as much information as possible. You can find that information when you're filling this up. You can find that information on the eBay page over here. And you can also find more information on the AliExpress page where you're sourcing from when you head over to specifications. So you can you have tons of places where you can start uh, filling that information out. So, uh, the, the other thing you can optimize would be the images. This means that uh, the more images you have, and if you find a good-looking image, let's say a professional image, then it's going to help you a lot. So all those factors, once you optimize your listings before publishing your listings, will help you with the, with the YouTube, with the eBay algorithm. Combine that with the ongoing optimization, 
Meaning that if you are consistently listing products every single time and we have a schedule button that we help you list items without you, you can work a full day in optimizing every single listing you have or every single product and you can leave those products to be published on your store, uh, let's say the day after. So let's say I'm, I want to source seven different items for the full week. I can work on Monday on my listings and publish and schedule the publishing on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and so on, up to all the way to Sunday. So that way I am being consistently listing, so that means I am being an active eBay seller. And if I give the good customer support, good customer service, combine all that package, then eBay will determine that when they follow my account. And thanks to that, um, thanks to that workload that I'm doing as a seller, I'll be giving more organic traffic. You can learn you can learn more about it on this search engine optimization guide right here. And let's just head out to the last part of the stream, uh, the giveaway. So the giveaway of products. I'm gonna give it, give away three products, but on the on the uh, file, the uh, Google Sheet file, I have listed five different products. Three that I found here that I will be showcasing right now and two that I previously showcased on my last session. So the first winning item would be this one right here. Uh, this uh, ha this is being sold for 20 bucks and 27 cents on eBay. Yeah, I found the same item on AliExpress for six bucks and 76 cents. Uh, I found it for a shipping fee of $1.21 with via standard shipping. And the eBay plus PayPal fees would be 3.24. Overall, if we do the conversions, the total amount of money or profits that this seller is gaining is a total of, hold on, sorry guys, nine bucks and six cents, as you guys can see here. What's happening? Why am not, okay. Uh, okay, anyway, I don't know what's happening. Uh, okay, so nine bucks and six cents, doesn't matter. Second winning item is this one right here. Uh, $20.45 is uh, this the price is being sold on eBay. On AliExpress is being sold for $8.80. No shipping fee is free via standard shipping and 3.27 would be the total fees. Uh, total amount gained $8.80. And last but not least, this one right here, 14 bucks compared to 0 0.01 cent on AliExpress. 5.36 uh, shipping fee via standard shipping and eBay plus PayPal fees 2.42. Okay, so you find that all that product information over here where I put on the seller ranking provided by Ali Tools. So the first product, the first seller, oh, supplier has 85%, second one has 93, and the third one has 90%. All of them are profit makers because anything above Four dollars when you sell an item. If you gain four dollars or more, that would be considered a, a profit-making product. <clears throat> and the first product uh, you will be able to gain if you sell it nine bucks and six cents. Second one eight dollars and thirty-eight cents, and the third one six bucks and eighty-six cents. Moreover, I also put on two extra uh, two extra products over here. You guys can get it. So let me share this with you guys as well. Uh, just I just want you to see all the people who already have this information done. Copy link. Let me give this to you over here. And let me just go ahead and say, guys, this is only the viewer version. If you want to have access to this calculator and if you want to have access to this products over here and start adding your own, here are the instructions. Make your copy. Download a copy. And the way you do that is by hitting file, you put it, make a copy, name it, whatever or however you want, click OK, and then you'll be you'll be granted the full access of this awesome Google Sheet. Anyway, guys, this is the final part of the presentation of the live stream. I don't know if I have any questions. Uh, anyway, no questions, maybe because I did it very late at night. Uh, I'm trying to look for the best way to do the live session, so I apologize if I did it pretty late. Anyway, this is going to be uploaded on Facebook and on YouTube uh, 24 hours after I finish the stream. So anyone who's watching this, 
after it's already recorded live. I appreciate if you took all the time all the way up to here. All the information I gave, I already explained it on previous live sessions and on the webinar. If you want to learn more, you can go to the DSM Academy. We have awesome articles. And last but not least, you can check out our YouTube channel. Be uh, Hit that notification bell button because we're going to be uploading more and more content. Small videos, but with efficient and great information. And last but not least, more collabs coming all coming very soon, hopefully. So anyone who is drop shipping on eBay, contact us as well. And if you have any questions or doubts, you can also send me a direct email if you want to Enrique at DSMTool.com. Anyway, that is the full presentation. Thank you guys for watching. The three viewers I have right now, thank you so much.